right, folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in a Country. Sometimes when I sit down to do a video, I crack up before I get there for various reasons. And uh, this is a gift request by Jeff Cather. Jeff, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for this gift and the request. It's Sarah Darling's song, Where Cowboys Ride. I don't know Sarah's stuff, but here's what Jeff said. Hi, Don. Hope I'm not bothering you on your year Zimbabwe getaway. <laughs> and that's sort of not an inside joke. It's on the, on the channel. Anytime I rated a, score, a song with a score of an 8.9, this is going back about two years or so, Montauk Ed said that, like, I need to bump those up to, like, 9.0 or, or whatever. And then it kind of took on a life. He wasn't angry. He was kind of joking, kind of serious. But he's such salt of the earth that... Anytime I rated a song an 8.9, I referred to it as a Montauk Ed special. Well, recently, Montauk Ed has kind of decided that Jeff Cather is going to be the one to come dump ice on me. And so it's taken on a life of its own. And I just said, hey, he's not going to find me. I'll be either in Switzerland or in Zimbabwe if Jeff comes to get me, because he won't just dump ice on me. He'll shoot me. This is also part of the joke. Anyway, that's why I'm cracking up. I'm going to need a hat that says Zimbabwe on it, by the way. Here is my traditional new artist to the channel request. This is Jeff. This time we are going with Sarah Darling. Sarah is from Des Moines, Iowa. She has a big following in the UK. It's not a sad one. I hope my rating enforcement partner, Montauk Ed, approves. There you have it. See, it's a big family here on the channel. Great, big, loving, violent family. All right, and I am the... All right, Where Cowboys Ride, Sarah Darling. What a name. Any relation to Ron Darling? So pretty. Golden fields, wide open skies, a million stars to paint the night. Horses. Rivers wine and cowboys ride. So Wind blows wild on an open range. Prairie grass prays for rain. I see it now. We had it rain with cowboys. Little bit right of from Jeff and I was finding it interesting there's clearly she's standing out because the way she's dressed I think just suggests that she came from elsewhere you know maybe a city girl but coming back to her roots or something to that effect um, because what she's wearing is not befitting you know ranch lifestyle um, and that's for effect right.
Horses run and rivers wind and cowboys ride. I love it. And a video like that. I always wonder, like, you know, every part of the video has a creative aspect to it. There's more thought put into some things than others, whether in lyrics, instrumentation, um, but certainly in a shoot. Like, how do you decide to shoot a video? Like, it was browner here. Like, if you do a video shoot in New Mexico, it's going to be a lot browner, a lot less verdant, green, than, say, if you shoot somewhere like in maybe Wyoming or Montana even though there are definitely, you know, brown spots, if you will, in, in um, certainly Wyoming. I've been to Wyoming. But how you decide to shoot, where you're going to shoot, what the shots are going to be. Like in the end, you have the two cowboys riding off with the dog, their dogs following them, and uh, just everything. And, and um, the creative component, like what, it, what she wearing, where she is. There was a moment... Uh, maybe three minutes into the song or so, two and a half minutes in, where I know she like sort of twirled with a smile on her face. And I'm like, oh, that suggested to me that now that she's back on the ranch there and have been there for a bit, she was coming back to the life that she was singing about. Take me back like where cowboys ride. And but it's disappearing that lifestyle and all that, but it, it wasn't a song where they showed highways and skyscrapers and look what's taking over these lands. It was more just about her desire. This is how I heard the song, obviously. Her desire to reconnect with her roots. And she said she had for a young woman, she had like a, an old soul in some ways. Like she reminded me of a folk singer like a Janice Ian or someone like that, where she that singer songwriter folksy type of sound at times. And then other times, there were a couple of times she reminded me of Joey Feet, just the tonal quality in her voice. But she's clearly her own artist. And I, I just, I love her name. It's just a smooth Sarah. It's just a very breathy first name, but darling, like Sarah, darling, <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm going to rate this. Um, I like the instrumentation. I like the instrumentation to move along. It wasn't downtrodden. It wasn't uptrodden. That's not even a word, but I just made it up, so now it is. It was just sort of appropriate to the mood. You could listen to it without feeling bummed. You could connect with her and what she was saying, singing, but you got the message at the same time. So the number that popped into my head was a 9.0. It just, I liked it. I mean, there, there was, it was captivating as well. And I liked that. And then part of that was that not only is she new, is Sarah new to me, but the, the content of the song, the way it was presented was new. And there was no salesmanship in this. It was just, here's the song, here's the video get from it what you will. And I respect that and appreciate that a bunch. So Jeff, thank you, my friend, for that one. I dodged the, um, I dodged the posse this time around. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, folks. I'm still waiting for that Zimbabwe hat. I'll see you on another video. I'll keep rocking the country. Open range.